I am hanging out with Frank Miller III. He is the founder, owner of Our Cloth. People call him Cloth, so I'm gonna call you that today. Thank Sound you. good? So, sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be casual here. And I just wanna go to your backstory a little bit and tell us how did you get into the clothing industry? How did you get into doing Our Cloth? So, um, my cousin owns a print shop here in Akron called, okay. the, called the Graffiti Print Shop. His name is Russell Neal. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to go there and, and fold t-shirts for them while people were printing them. I fell in love with the whole process. And just one day, I just started getting into it and it just spiraled, just spiraled to something different. And growing up, we didn't have a lot of um, black-owned clothing companies. Mm -hmm. There was only a handful of them. So we had companies, we had, I only had a handful of people to look up to. So yeah. I, started, I started studying Dapper Dan, Damon John from FUBU, okay. Carl Kanai. Guys like that just like really inspired me, but the, the main one for real was uh, Damon John. Damon John, what he did with FUBU is to this day still iconic. Now, is FUBU still around? Because I remember it from my childhood, but. Here, here's the thing about clothing lines, they never die. Okay. They just go overseas. Oh, all right. Yeah, they, so he's overseas now. They sell more overseas, but he's he's been back here. He's been doing a lot of work with Puma. Okay. Um, But it goes back and forth, so like, 10 years over there, 10 years over here. It's like it goes, fashion goes back and forth. Now, I really love, you were mentioning to me earlier that you like to go into, you go to Firestone High School. Oh, and I'm a Falcon, yeah. Yeah, you were a Falcon. And then you go back and you help out some of the kids there. Mm -hmm. um, you work with the DECA program, correct? Yep, the Marketing and Sales Tell Education. Me about that. So what it is, is DECA is a program for students who want to basically be entrepreneurs. They have a school store, they have to run it and maintain it. I go back and show the kids what it's like to be an entrepreneur. I give them the real stories, not the glitz and glamour. Like you're gonna have downfalls and, yeah. how, and how you should maneuver your way through it. Yeah, and you know, that's what they really <laughs> need actually, is the real stories. Like, hey, you can do this, but it's not all fun it's, and games. It's not all glitz uh, and glamour. It's really hard, right? <laughs> but man, if, most people will tell you if you're an entrepreneur that you may quit your job, but you're gonna work 10 times as hard. Right, it just, absolutely. It takes about five years to get it off the ground. Totally agree with you. So <laughs> our cloth, it's yeah. an exciting brand and you're getting to do some really cool stuff in the community. Oh, yeah. You just got to um, be the official clothing line for the Sojourner Truth. Mm -hmm, the merchandise shop, right? Yes, here. statue yeah. that came here to Akron, Ohio. So tell us a little bit about that. So I was contacted by, well, my friend, uh, Dre, Dre Evans. He called me, he was like, man, I, I think I got something for you. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So uh, I had just recently left my last company and he was like, I got something for you, bro. So he, he put me on the phone with this woman named Tawanda Mullins. She was like, you're my guy, we're gonna do this. I'm like, all right, you, know, you hear that a lot in this business. Right, sure. But she really, really stuck to the program. I love and that. I, and I love her for that. And we, we got the merchandise created. And, and so the unveiling yeah. was actually uh, very recently, and um, you are going to still be selling these though, because I'm this is these amazing. People can go yeah. out and um, check out the statue, but they can also come to your store and pick up a shirt. Either the store or the website. Yep. I prefer you order on the website. It's uh, rcloth.com. Great. Just, just the letter R and cloth.com. I love that. And uh, yeah, so actually right now, before I came here, people were just hitting me up like, where's the shirt? Where's the shirt? They wanted the shirt. Because we sold out. We sold out at the event and I just keep creating them. That's amazing news. Yeah. Selling out is what you want to do, right? Anyone so, that sells merchandise, you want to sell out. So yep. you can make more and you're going to make more oh, and you're going to have them. Got to make more. For, pe <laughs> for people to buy online, which I love. So for you have sure. some co other cool collaborations coming up. Share with us about those. So my next one is with Just a Dad from Akron. This will be our second collab. Nice. We have a collab called God Don't Miss. It's a text message that we have between us. Um, what happened is... 7 11 2023 i walked into his establishment and was like bro i need help um i wanted to sober up i want to get my life completely on track so I, I got myself sober he helped me get sober became my sponsor and one day he texted me he's like god don't miss i'm like that's it bro <laughs> that's the shirt we need to make that's the collab yeah he's like, <laughs> let's that's do it amazing yes so we've actually we've had kenny on the show before kenny mm -hmm. lambert from just Adept from akron that's, i love that that's you guys my brother, man. are doing a collab together how we're, amazing yeah. we're actually like a day apart his, his birthday is august 25th my i mean his his my birthday is august 26th his is august 27th <laughs> that's so crazy yep. <laughs> all right so collab with just Adept from akron's coming up we got the sojourner truth and then we have um what else is happening well i'm working with the akron bicentennial Creating some cool merch for that. 
And then we also have, I have a fashion show coming up August 25th in North Canton at the Glenmore Country Club. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay, and what is entailed in a fashion show? So my, my fashion shows are different. This is my first one, but I've been in a lot of them. I, I won a couple of them, but this one's going to be strictly streetwear. That's wanna, really cool. I want to bring out all my guys I know who I've collabed with over the years. Guys I know with brands who are really moving and shaking. I'm going to bring communities together through fashion and, 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 um, and hip hop. Why does this inspire you? Why do you keep doing this kind of work? Man, streetwear is like the backbone of fashion. I, mean, I agree. It's like, if it, like we have we have higher end lines like Gucci, Louis, Dior, Prada. Like they all come to streetwear designers to get that that raw, uncut. You can't the like clothes for the everyday person. For the everyday yeah, person, like absolutely. hoodie, jeans, t-shirts. <laughs> shoes like I, i'm just in love with clothes I, I like clothes i like if they're like clothes are like a fashion fashion statements they're they're um they're like art pieces yeah and totally you agree just, you, could, you express yourself through fashion totally agree yeah, yeah it's a way that you can you can kind of show people who you are mm -hmm. through through a different arena i for know for um, sure. yeah i have a kid we, we were talking about this earlier at miller south and before she was at miller south she was in a uniform and so then yeah. <laughs> when she got to go to Miller South, she was so excited to be able to, she's an art student, express herself through her clothes. Tell her I feel her pain. Yes. I, I went to St. Mary's. It was, oh, it, was, yep. it was all uniform. I left there and with the ranking. It's all uniform. Like, it's just, once I got past that uniform stage, I was like, I'm never doing this again. She was so excited um, and able to like express herself through clothes, which I know is part of what you love to do. And mm -hmm. I love how you've been able to give back to our Akron community. Thank you for, for sure. doing that. For sure. Um, Thank you. I mean, you're going, going into Firestone High School and talking with youth about business and entrepreneurship which well, also, is really important. Well, also, too, if you buy one of these shirts, a portion of the proceeds go back to the education fund. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so this, this shirt is a, is a project that will keep on giving. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. You're I want welcome. you to share with everyone where they can get all of your merchandise. So share your store location, share your website, social media, all of that. So the store location is a private shopping experience. So it's at 11, 1145 Getz Avenue. It's on the fourth floor. Um, and then, but I, want, I prefer people to go to the website. It's okay. rcloth.com. Just the letter R and cloth.com. Perfect. Yep. All right. Do you have social media people can follow? Yep. Uh, my IG is Frank Cloth Miller, and then on Facebook and everywhere else is just R Cloth. All right. Great. Yep. Give some inspiration to the next generation of entrepreneurs. What would you tell them? What's the first thing that they should do? Believe in yourself. Nobody will believe in you unless you believe in yourself first. Always keep the attitude of going to be great. I really like that. And I love I, that you tied in earlier with like, believe in yourself, but it's also going to be tough, it's but keep be, going. Yep. You know, I feel like that's an important part of it as well. You got to believe in a higher power. All right. Well, yep. thank you so much. Yep. Appreciate you you're being welcome. here. Glad you're here. I love the projects that you're doing. I need to get my own R cloth shirt. You have to. So I got to oh, get one. One more thing too. <laughs> cloth stands for choose love over the hate. That's amazing. I didn't even know it stood for something. Yep. So I love that. Choose love over the hate. That's yep. really, really awesome. All thank right. You. Thank you so much, Frank. You're welcome. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with us on Good Morning Akron. We had a great interview with Frank Miller III from Our Cloth. Make sure you go to his website, rcloth.com, right? Rcloth.com. Rcloth.com. And check out all of the amazing products that he has. Stay tuned. We've got more great stuff coming up next.